All right, guys, it's 2020, January 2020, and it's time to run another Pinoy 1000 for the new year. If you want to find out how to win a 1,000 pesos, stay tuned, and I'll let you know right after this. This is the beginning of meditation. <laughs> Yabba Dabba YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zockstar. Once again, coming at you with another Pinoy 1000 for the January 2020 year. Okay guys, yes, welcome, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. Um, it's time to do another Pinoy 1000. Um, I apologise for being so late with this video, but I've been working the last couple of days. I didn't get home till 8 o'clock yesterday. Um, I started at 6, finished at 8, so I had a 14-hour day. I was exhausted. By the time I came home, all I could do was just upload one of my um, music videos. And I don't really upload. They're all uploaded already, and I just make them public. So I wasn't, like, editing anything. I just had no energy left. Um, I had a quick shower, had something to eat, went to bed straight away. I was absolutely exhausted. Um, so, yeah, Happy New Year. Um, I hope you enjoyed your new year wherever you were. Um, I hope you enjoyed your fireworks displays. Um, we had a fireworks display here in uh, Melbourne and to tell you the truth, I'm not really happy with these uh, Melbourne fireworks. Sydney's was much better than ours, um, but no one comes close to the Philippines fireworks display. Um, here in Melbourne, they give us about 10 minutes. Same in Sydney, most places do about 5-10 minute fireworks. Um, and that's just not enough, you know, if you, you work all year, you deserve to have a bit of excitement at the end of the year, so what better way than to have a big fireworks display. Uh, when I lived in the Philippines, I experienced uh, uh, a fireworks display that still, still stuck here in my mind, and to this day, I've never seen one that it comes even close. Uh, we stayed in, the wife and I, we stayed in Makati, uh, when that happened and it was no 10 minutes it was more like an hour and a half um, the best fireworks display I've ever seen uh, when you're up on one of those buildings you can see for miles you can see for miles it was a 360 degree fireworks display and nothing comes close absolutely nothing comes close some places might have a big one in one little area but if you want to experience one of the best fireworks displays you will ever see, come to the Philippines. You will not be disappointed. Uh, one thing to touch on with these fireworks is uh, here in Australia, I'm starting to see, it was happening before, but we're seeing more and more of this happening. Um, a lot of these uh, children in the Philippines uh, suffering injuries from fireworks. Uh, same thing used to happen here in Australia many years ago and then they banned the sale of fireworks to under 18 year olds which pretty much stopped the young children getting injuries but then some of the older adults and the people over 18 were injuring themselves as well and we're talking hands blown off, losing eyes, missing body pieces, these things are absolutely dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, stay away from them. Um, we're seeing more and more on the news here in Australia from the Philippines, especially this time of year, so many children getting their hands blown off, losing eyes, you know what I mean. These are explosives and if, if they're in the wrong hands or inexperienced hands, people are going to get hurt, really. They're going to get hurt and you're going to wish that you never actually touched one. Um, so I just say to the People out there, if you know of anyone who are buying fireworks, try and keep them away from children because they they don't understand the dangers of fireworks. They all start off small, then they want a bigger bang and a bigger bang. And I can't emphasise highly enough how dangerous fireworks can be. I noticed in the Philippines there are a lot of uh, illegal fireworks sales, selling them on the streets. You don't know where these fireworks are coming from. Most of them could be just old stock that 
probably not going to work or they're probably going to detonate prematurely stay away just enjoy the fireworks that's provided by you and you should be good to go um, next thing I just want to congratulate Bong on the 10,000 peso win for the new year uh, I'm still waiting to hear from you Bong so wherever you are send me a DM I've already sent you two or three of them and you're not replying um, so whether or not you're in an area that's been uh, battered by Typhoon Ursula like, excuse me, like I did with the previous winner I did wait a little while so I'm going to do the same for you this is a big amount and I wouldn't want you to miss out on this so Bong if you can hear me or if anyone knows Bong let him know he's won the 10,000 to get in touch with me ASAP um, also when you're watching these videos don't forget to like because that helps me out so much with the YouTube algorithms and it helps me or helps it helps me to actually be recommended to other people um, some of you are recommending me to some of your people some of your friends but for me to get to where I want to be I need more I need to get recommended out to as many people as I can and that way I can grow this channel and I can grow the giveaways higher giveaways more frequent um, Okay, so what we're going to do this time is, yet again, another question. And like I've mentioned before, I don't think some of you are watching the videos. You need to watch this video and all the other ones that are going to come in the future because they're all the same uh, format. When you answer the question, you need to put your first name, like I've said before many times, put your first real name. And then under that, so you can put your first name, push enter, it takes you down to the next line. Answer the question, push enter, and then go down and leave your Instagram name. A few people I've noticed, they claim they're doing the right thing, but they're not. Most of you are doing the right thing, but there are a few, I don't know why, because like I've said before, if I choose you and in that instant when I search you on Instagram, if you're not following me, I will disqualify you. Regardless, you can't say I was, sir, you just didn't see it. I take daily snapshots of my um, Instagram followers and I know who's jumping off. I know who's jumping on and I also know who's jumping off. So, um, although I can't control that, to be part of these giveaways, you need to be following me on Instagram. So, I'm not asking for much. Follow me or subscribe to my YouTube channel, answer the question, give the video a like because you're obviously here and everyone's commenting you like the video. So when you've done the comment a lot, <laughs> once you've commented that you like the video or that you've, you're entering this giveaway, just click that thumbs up. I'm not going to take too much of your time. Just click the thumbs up. That way I'll get recommended out to more and more people. Um, also share don't be scared to share the more you share the more you win so that's my motto here the more people like I said that join enter and follow me on Instagram the more of these prizes will grow and hopefully they'll be more frequent um, I know it's just one a month but like I've said previous times, I'm not monetized. I'm not making, voila, I'm not making nothing off YouTube. Not yet anyway. But when I do, I'm going to, give in, I'm going to be giving most of it back to you guys. Um, there are a few people out there on YouTube that are doing some sort of little giveaways, helping out people. But to be honest with you, and I can see straight through them, they're fake. They're only doing it to better their own views on YouTube um, I just want to start this slowly and grow it quickly that way I can get myself there and start doing the things that I promised and helping out the needy helping out the poor people helping out the the abandoned the the abused children everything I want to do as much as I can in the time that I have on this planet so what is the question this 
Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be it's sort of a part question, part experiment. Are you all in? Are you all happy to join in and try this experiment at home? Okay, now, I've been talking about this with the wife for quite some time. Uh, every morning when my wife brushes her teeth, all I can hear is her gagging. Gagging. <laughs> gagging away in the bathroom. And I always get up and go, what are you doing? And she's just brushing the back of her tongue with the toothbrush. I never used to do that. I just brush my teeth, mouthwash, I'm good, I'm gone, see you later. But she tends to brush her teeth and then brush her tongue. And she's been gagging. G-A-G-G-I-N-G, -G -G, gagging. Now I thought, okay, let's try that. I'm sure you're, you're, you're doing something weird or you, you're exaggerating something. So I tried that one morning and I almost threw up last night's dinner in the sink. So I thought this would be a good little experiment to try with my subscribers. So be careful when you do this. It could get, could get a bit ugly or it could be funny or it could go either way. But anyway, um, the question is, do you gag? or don't gag. So that's gonna be your answer. So you write your name and then enter. The second line's gonna be gagger or not gagger. <laughs> <laughs> so something a little bit of bit of fun, you know? It's the, it's the new year. <clears throat> Let's try something a bit different instead of just a plain question. So get your toothbrush and your scrub back of your tongue. I've heard about this. People used to talk about that here in when we were when we were in school. They used to the dentists used to go around and they used to tell everyone when you finish brushing your teeth, brush the back of your tongue. And most of us just disregarded that. We just brush our teeth, mouthwash, off you go. But a few people like to brush the back of their tongue. So this is the challenge question: Do you gag or do you don't? Are you a gagger or not a gagger? Let me know in the comments below like i said your name gag or no gag or gagger not a gagger instagram name simple easy peasy and that is it my good friends from the philippines my brothers and sisters um so easy there you have it answer the question leave your name instagram name and you will be in the draw for 1,000 peso, which will be drawn at the end of the month. I continue to upload my videos for um, my, my music videos. If you're a vlogger and you like to use um, music, have a look at one of my playlists, Epic Vlog Music. I'm using Epidemic Sound at the moment and they have a huge selection of songs. I'm still going through them and adding more and more on a daily basis. Um, I will be uploading, I think, another one the end of uh, probably what's the time now it's only uh, one o'clock in the afternoon so I'm probably going to upload one at about five uh, you guys are three hours behind so if it's uh, 1 30 here it's 10 30 a.m in the philippines so until we see each other again be good stay safe peace out this is the beginning of meditation